Before we begin this video, I'd like to ask that you all stick around until the very end to find out how you might be able to get a shout out in a future video of mine. With that out of the way, let's begin. Hello everyone, I'm the Primal Earth, and today I come to you with yet another Jurassic World video. A few days ago, I uploaded a short 44 second long video titled, The Biggest Carnivore the World Has Ever Seen, and it blew up quite a bit. If you've not seen that video, it's a funny short video that I think you'll like, so make sure to go check it out when you've got the chance. But in the meantime, the video is essentially a short clip from the second Jurassic World Dominion trailer where someone asks Alan Grant, what is that? Seemingly in reference to the Giganotosaurus, where Alan Grant then replied, the biggest carnivore the world has ever seen. After this clip plays, another clip plays of me googling the largest carnivorous dinosaur to a Spinosaurus result coming up while Jurassic Park music plays in the background. This was just a funny, harmless video, and most people understood that. However, many people got into heated discussions about what the actual largest carnivorous dinosaur the world has ever seen really is. So this got me thinking, what really is the largest carnivore the world has ever seen? Now, the Jurassic franchise is not exactly known for accuracy, but the Jurassic universe and actual real life do share the same three largest carnivores, Spinosaurus, Giganotosaurus, and Tyrannosaurus rex. Now, in real life, sizes are quite easy to figure out due to how all the information on these animals is readily available to the public. Starting with heights, Spinosaurus dominates over the rest due to its sale. Even in spite of its relatively short legs, the semi-aquatic predator can still reach a height of 18 feet. Coming in second place is the Tyrannosaurus rex, reaching a height of 13 feet, which is then followed closely by Giganotosaurus at 12 feet in height. As far as lengths are concerned, Spinosaurus easily dominates here as well, coming in at an incredible 49 feet in length. Coming in at second place is actually Giganotosaurus, at a length of 43 feet, followed closely by Tyrannosaurus rex at 41 feet. But for mass estimates, Tyrannosaurus rex actually reigns supreme with a mass estimate of 8.8 .8 metric tons. This is then followed up in second place by the 8.2 ton Giganotosaurus, with the Spinosaurus coming in last with estimates of around 6.6 .6 tons, or more. Although, it's important to note that the Spinosaurus has also been estimated at up to 12 tons, which would make it heavier than either of the two previous dinosaurs. When it comes to length and height, Spinosaurus dominates, but as far as mass is concerned, Tyrannosaurus is king. Now, these are the real life estimates for these particular animals, but their counterparts in the Jurassic universe are wildly different. As far as height is concerned, Spinosaurus once again reigns supreme at 20 feet in height thanks to that massive sail. This is then followed up in second place by Giganotosaurus at 16 feet in height, with the Tyrannosaurus rex coming in at 13 feet in height. As for length, Spinosaurus is in a very interesting position. Officially, first place should go to Giganotosaurus at 47 feet in length, with the Spinosaurus coming in at 43 feet, the same as the Tyrannosaurus rex. But the source for that specific metric for Spinosaurus is this image. Now, in this image, it clearly states that Spinosaurus is 43 feet in length. But that number doesn't actually match the following graphic. This graphic is made up of a bunch of different squares and also includes Alan Grant for reference. Now, the actor who plays Alan Grant, Sam Neill, is exactly 6 feet in height, and Alan Grant's character in this graphic is exactly 6 squares tall, meaning that each square is 1 foot in length. Using this, we can see that the Spinosaurus is actually 46 squares long, meaning that the actual animal depicted in the diagram is 46 feet in length. While this still puts the Giganotosaurus ahead of the Spinosaurus, it beats it by only a single foot in length, as opposed to the 6 foot difference between the real life animals. And finally, weight. Again, Spinosaurus and Giganotosaurus are neck and neck once again, with the Giganotosaurus barely edging out the Spinosaurus. The Giga clocks in at 8.2 tons, whereas the Spinosaurus clocks in at 8 tons. This is a difference of only 400 pounds. For reference, that's about 1.2 Dennis Nedry's in weight difference. Interestingly, both of these numbers are less than the 8.8 .8 tons that we believe the real-life Tyrannosaurus Rex could have achieved. What's even more interesting is that the Jurassic version of the T-Rex only weighs 7 tons, far less than either of them. So, based on everything we currently know, Giga and Spino easily beat T-Rex in size, but are very close to each other. Spino is 20 feet tall, Giga is 16 feet tall. Spino is 46 feet long, Giga is 47 feet long. Spino is 8 tons, Giga is 8.2 tons. Which means it's settled, right? The Giga is the biggest, even if only marginally so. Well, not quite. 
You see, the Spinosaurus we saw in Jurassic Park 3, where the measurements are from, might not have been fully grown. The Spinosaurus did not exist during the events of the Lost World Jurassic Park, but did exist during the events of Jurassic Park 3, which means, at most, it was merely four years old. But we actually know it was a lot younger than that during the events of JP3. After the events of the Lost World Jurassic Park, a bunch of scientists actually went back to Isla Sorna to create more dinosaurs, among them the Spinosaurus. When did this occur? 1999. Two years later, we would see a 46 foot long Spinosaurus terrorizing Isla Sorna. This animal was only two years old at the oldest when it took down that sub-adult T-Rex. It has since been 20 years since the Spinosaurus was last seen on Isla Sorna, and there is an almost certain chance that it grew even larger than when we last saw it. And any growth of this animal at all then puts it ahead of the Giganotosaurus in size. Just a single foot in length and 400 pounds in weight puts it ahead of the Giga. And we know the Spinosaurus in our world can reach up to 49 feet in length, so it's not out of the question to assume that the JP Spinosaurus could and did achieve that length as well. Now, there is something else that needs to be noted. The dinosaurs in the Jurassic franchise are genetically modified to have accelerated growth rates. The Tyrannosaurus rex was hatched in 1988 and was full-sized in 1993. And the Indominus rex was hatched in 2012 and achieved a full size of 43 feet by 2015. What's interesting is that the Indominus rex, despite three years of growth on an accelerated growth rate, was still not finished growing. When it died, it was 43 feet in length, but its maximum length was stated to be 50 feet, and that was after three years of growing. In addition to this, the Tyrannosaurus rex took just five years to grow to full size in Jurassic Park. The Spinosaurus was only two years old and already 46 feet in length. This leads me to believe that even though the numbers we have officially put Spinosaurus behind Giganotosaurus by a very small amount, in reality, the Spinosaurus of 2022 would have achieved its maximum height years or even a decade ago. And if that maximum size is even slightly bigger than what we saw in Jurassic Park, then that means the Spinosaurus is actually the biggest carnivorous dinosaur the Jurassic franchise has ever seen. Hello everyone and welcome to the fancy new end card. Firstly, we've got today's shoutout, which goes to Matt D'Angelo and his kids Caden and Emma. User Wolfman Fall Guy and I had a bet going and I lost fair and square, so here you go, as promised. If you'd like to have your own shoutout in the next video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and in the comments below, tell me what your favorite dinosaur is and why. Up next, we have two videos, one of which will be the previous video that I uploaded, and the other being a video that YouTube thinks you'll like just as much. And finally, my Twitter handle. If you feel so inclined, come on over and follow me on Twitter. I can't wait to see you there. And with that, thank you guys for watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. I've been the Primal Earth, and I'll see you all in the next video.